Welcome back. This video will explain how to use the Audiogram Print Options screen in Hearform Pro. Let's head over to the Print Options screen where there's a lot going on. On this screen you can do quite a bit. For example, you can print a number 10 or number 9 envelope to the patient, to a payer, or to a physician. And over here you can make sure that the physician and the payer is the appropriate one that is assigned to that particular patient. Over here I can fax an audiogram of my choice, which I'm going to choose right down here. Let's say a side-by-side left-right audiogram versus a right-left or a custom or anatomy of the ear, etc. I'll choose the standard audiogram here. And I can fax that right to the patient, to the payer, physician, school, or enter an, a telephone number right here, and that will automatically go to that fax number. I can do the same emailing it to the patient, payer, physician, school, or any other email address right there. Now obviously you want to keep HIPAA rules in mind when you're doing any faxing, emailing, etc. Make sure that you have appropriate permissions in place. So again, choose the desired audiogram here, and we can help you with custom audiograms. There's generally a fee to do so if we have to customize quite a bit, but we're happy to help you with custom audiograms if our audiograms don't particularly meet your needs. Over here, let's take a look at some of these other options, and that's previewing, printing, archiving, and printing something else here. So I can preview the selected audiogram right here by clicking this button, and I'll zoom in just so you can see a little bit better. It puts the letterhead of the assigned office right at the top, the patient name, the date of the evaluation, the patient's date of birth, who tested them, what type of transducers were used, and the insurance company. As you can see, it cuts off a little bit there because that's a very long insurance company name. We only have so much information, and we can slide that over if desired, but then we want to be careful of a long patient name. So you get the idea there. We're showing speech audiometry, acoustic reflex, etc., air and bone. Uh, you can customize this screen if you don't use, for example, um, acoustic reflex decay and you want to get rid of that part then talk to us and we can help you with that part as well. So all this information is here and down below at the bottom of the audiogram is the ear inspection results for both the right and left ear and some comments. So uh, that part again can be customized as needed. I just wanted to show you what that particular audiogram looks like. If we click multi and then zoom in a little bit you can see that you can print up to six different audiograms. Now this one's a mess on the left because I was just playing around with that for training purposes. But it would show uh, six audiograms and that way the physician or a patient can see okay this is how my hearing was a few years ago and it's uh, it's gotten a little bit worse over the years whatever it is and you have a much larger area for comments if in fact you've included any comments. So that's multi. Now you can also print to a PDF or multi, the multi audiogram to a PDF, not the selected, but the multi one here. You can archive that, you can print it to paper, and perhaps hand that to the patient, or you can go to the selected form, just like I've done here. When you're done looking at this here, you can go back, and that brings us back to the screen that is uh, for print options. So again, a lot going on here. You can kind of play around with some of these. Let's just preview this one just to show you what I mean. This particular one has the left ear on the left side, the right ear on the right side, and combined in the center. And for those who prefer right-left, then you certainly can do that. Let's preview that. And you see the right on the left side, etc. And let's look a little bit more here. We'll do the anatomy of the ear. This one may be appropriate to hand to a patient, for example. You may want to explain an outer, middle, or inner ear problem and uh, put that on the, the graph there. And then a real basic audiogram is listed here for the patient. So again, you, you can decide. The familiar sounds, the speech banana, they're not really very impressive, but they're there if you need them. And again, take a look at some of those different options that you have. The standard one might be appropriate for your needs. Now, as you'll see in the Soap Notes area video, whatever video that you choose here can automatically be attached to a report that goes to a referring physician. So you want to perhaps have the standard audiogram or the right and left audiogram, let's say, and that will allow you to quickly attach a PDF of that image uh, when you're sending that to a patient uh, through, excuse me, a physician through email or fax. So this kind of gives you an overall view of what you're uh, what's capable here. You can always click the question mark button here to see some of the videos right from here or in many cases you can go up to the help menu 
and come down here to audiogram module help and that will also give you some of the videos that that we're creating right now that you have been watching so anyway thanks for watching this today and uh, be sure to look at some of our other videos especially the soap notes video